we changed from a half square meter of green area for 51 square meter, 55 square meters in, in, in all these years. That means 300 times more. And we tried to save existing old quarries we transformed in parks. This is the Open University for the Environment. All the architecture in all this, the parks are with uh, wooden poles, treated poles that they were, we bought from all the energy companies on telephone companies of the country. We bought all the, all the, uh, all the treated pools. This is a botanic garden. You know it takes 100 years to build a botanic garden. This botanic, this botanic garden was done in three months. Why? It's not a miracle. We started the botanic garden. The people are using, and same time we're planting. And who is planting? The children from the neighborhood. We're buying their work and planting. Multi-use is in part important because you cannot have parts of a city that they are not being used during the 24 hours. There are most of the cities, they are downtown areas, they are empty for 16 hours a day. It's a waste. We have night markets. That means all the families, they meet in these night markets. This is a family portrait. You know, you never rip your family portrait, even if you don't like the nose of an uncle. <laughs> you don't rip it because this portrait is you. It's your identity. And the city is like our family portrait. It's, that's the example, it's a good example how to have, we have to have coexistence, social diversity. And since we have a very rich, diverse ethnic contribution, we started to pay homage to all our ethnic contribution, uh, the Italians, the portal, from the Italian sector. The Ukrainian park. The Polish park. The Japanese park. Well, I have to tell you what is my actual profession. I'm doing acupuncture, urban acupuncture. Because sometimes planning takes time, and it has to take time to take time. But some local focal points you can do it immediately. Uh, that they not instead they, to help the whole process of planning. And there are wonderful examples of urban acupuncture. Well, well, let's say the museum of Bilbao, Frank Gehry, but it has not to be very expensive. This is a genius piece of work of EMP and at the Louvre, but sometimes the Liebeskind in, in, in a museum in Berlin, but sometimes it's a, just at the entrance of the subway or the most beautiful acupuncture in New York is the smallest park, which is the Paley Park, East 53rd Street in New York. 13 meters per 32. And the place where the best um, public architect, best architecture in Sao Paulo, the three best anchors, the Pinacotec, and also the Museum of uh, the Portuguese Language and the Auditorium, three in yellow, the three big anchors. It's, they are beautiful, 
but the problem is in the mean, the, in the area, it's the king place. It's called now Crackland. You can imagine why. So it's very sad and it's hard to, and revitalizing is bringing again life. But how can you bring more life when there is, bring people to live when there is no life? So that's why we started with an, with an idea of bringing street life to portable streets. And we designed these portable streets to help and not touching the buildings and bringing it at, on a Friday night and removing it on the morning, uh, early morning and Monday. And at the same time, during the week in front of universities or other places that they have uh, lots of people. Many, I had the chance to um, have my dreams come true, not only in, um, on political or professional, but in, in my life, my, my family, so I'm a very lucky man, but I realized one thing. If you, if you cannot make your dream come true, don't be frustrated. That's the end of the movie. Don't be frustrated. Be sure if you dedicate yourself deeply to your dream, one day this dream will go around you, will hit you, and will say, you remember me, I'm your dream. <laughs> it's your second chance, don't lose it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you.